Like, you guys, the, the highlight of my day usually is streaming and talking to you guys, so. I, 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 I couldn't say enough how much I love you guys. Um, but now it's time for Carcat to be Carcat and my voice to fucking die. Oh, the computer blinks at you? I hate it. Wait, is that the wallpaper? Wait, is the screen in the shape of his head and this is the wallpaper? I hate this computer. This computer sucks. I mean, it's not it's not your fault that Hussy that Carcat's a good character that talks a lot. Just, and then I gave him a voice that makes me die. No, it's fine. It's not disrespect. The Crosby top, you fuck. It's Bing Crosby. It's it's like that. Oh, the desktop things that do desktop things. It is the Crosby top, yeah. <laughs> All right, all right. That's true. I also, no, 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 no. I don't think we've ever seen the screen because this is what it looks like from the back. So from the back, okay, whatever. It can be a weird shape. And then there's like a square s screen somewhere and it's just a computer. We've seen it blink before. Oh, fuck me. Also, I like the, um, the battlefield here. This is a nicely drawn battlefield. Well, obviously, I was being a shit streamer and not paying enough attention. What if it, what if, what if it had a, like, 5% chance to wink at you? Like, every so often, one of the blinks was a wink. <laughs> then I hope I got lucky. <laughs> Oh shit, a short car cat conversation. <sighs> oh, oh, this is a sad car cat conversation. All right, let me let me see if I can if I have the voices set. Cuz um John's John's not that bad. John's pretty easy to do. He just talks very Purposefully, but with the lift, and he's very energetic. And, um, Carcat is. Uh, the growly shit. Like, I can do it. It's not hard, you absolute fuck. But it. It grates after a while, and I just need more practice. You know, I just gotta practice a lot more. I just need to be, be reading Homestuck all day long, out loud, to myself. Just to progress as a streamer. Ah! Or something. Anyway, let's read this page. I'm gonna try to read the pages. I wanna, I wanna get a little bit better. Ah, uh, fuck my vocal cords. Fuck me. Um... I want to get a little bit better at reading pages start to finish and then making commentary at the end instead of pausing in the middle so that people can like, if they want to like skip the, the rambling, they can like just wait till the new page comes up or something. But whatever. Is this the, the right song for this moment? <laughs> All right, let's find out. John! Carcat, what's up? I'm not sure why I'm telling you this. I guess it's just out of a sense of obligation at this point. We've come this far, so I feel like you should know. Know what? I might not make it out of this alive. This might even be the last time you hear from me. Wait, what the fuck am I saying? The last time you hear from me will be the first time you hear from me. Uh, 
I mean, this could be the last time from my perspective. Because from my perspective, I could be dead soon. Oh no! Are you in some sort of trouble? Is it Jack? Carcat, what's going on? Oh god, the honking. Why won't the honking stop? I, I have to go. I I'm sorry for being such a douche to you and your friends. I, I hope you can succeed as a leader where I failed miserably. <sighs> Damn, Carcat. Fuck. I really appreciate Carcat here being like, Fuck, I know, John, I'm, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, I... Just so you know... Y you are like a good person and you can do this uh fuck <laughs> and then he dies fuck if Karkat dies oh I can't oh I can't I couldn't mm, I'm not gonna think about it not gonna think about it not thinking about it The message was rather disconcerting. You urge your navigator to ease up on the honking for a while since it is distracting and in somewhat bad taste given the circumstances you think you should try to message your friend back? John Pestacockat. Is this conversation one? I think this is conversation one that's about to happen. Cause John, cause when John, when when the kids message the trolls, they all it seems that they always get a uh a, a, a whoever they're messaging at a random point in their timeline. Hey, what's up, dude? No, Car Carcat's conversation one. So John's car conversation a hundred million. Oh, right, right, right. We saw that. We saw that. We saw that. You're right. We right. We did see that. Fuck. I need to go back and read that. So this isn't conversation one. I'm just dumb. Right. That that vague that vague thing that we still don't know what the fuck it is. Right. John was on the hack. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, John, pass the car cat. Oh, the car to a fly. Yeah, this is your god speaking, yep. Mode 7, let's go. Mode 7 hype. That conversation sucked. Car cat! Hey! Buddy, you were making me worried there. Are you okay? What in the name of sweet globe tickling fuck? Egbert, I just got done erupting a whole volcano of merciless fuck you on the primitive village located squarely on your crotch. Assuming that's a suitably terrible part of human anatomy for a village in jeopardy to exist. Uh. Shut up! How dare you contact me while I'm in the middle of my backward march of hate through your tedious timeline! Oh god, this is not right! You aren't, you aren't supposed to hate me anymore, you're supposed to be cutting my friend, Thorda. When is this? What do you mean, when is this? Okay, just let me check the universal clock which keeps consistent time for all frames of reference and all planes of reality. It's half past, you're a moron. Okay, duh, I know that. I mean, how many times have you talked to me before? We just got done with our second conversation. How can you not know this? Ugh. This isn't good. I need to talk to future you. Why? It sounds like, because it sounds like you're in trouble. It, I think maybe you're running from Jack? Of course, we're running from Jack. I just got done fucking telling you that. No, I know, but fine. I guess my future conversations will instigate some misguided need for you to get in touch with me later on. What have I gotten myself into here? I swear, it never ends with this ultimate riddle shit. Even after the game is over, even after you lose it, how unfair is that? ultimate riddle shit? I can tell this conversation is gonna be utter fucking joy to participate in. I honestly envy anyone in the position of not having to put up with reading it. But you asked for it, John, so here we go. Are you ready? 
No, I just want to talk to future you. No, you don't! Take it from me! The guy is a bastard! John's pretty great. Future Car Cat, retreat into lab. Fuck, I'm so scared. This is- this- so I am almost as scared reading this as I was playing Blair Witch last night. Uh... <laughs> God damn it. Ow. Ow! And then it happened to X Combub. Combub. I know it's almost like I planned this. Just kidding, I didn't plan this. I don't know what the fuck's happening. <laughs> I did maybe put off not doing a Monday just so we could read this during October. I did, I did, like, once I found out we were going into Murder Stuck, uh, I, I, like, skipped the stream so we could do it in Spooktober. On purpose. You've been so busy being consumed by unspeakable horror, you didn't notice somebody's been trying to contact you. That was me last night. People were like messaging me and I was playing fucking Call of Cthulhu. Oh fuck, Solox's teeth. What the shit? Carcat, you asshole. Uh, Carcat and Ceturezi. He's got a spider top. Oh, it's a crab top. What am I fucking talking about? Of course it's a crab top. Because it's car cat. Of course it is. You motherfucker. Car cat, I have grave and serious news to report. I have discovered the scene of a real life murder. Tavros was the victim. I'm very upset, but I'm trying to stay professional about it. This crime is not gonna solve itself. I have conducted my preliminary forensic analysis of the scene, but my findings have been mostly inconclusive. I'm only pretending to think there is any chance it was not Friska because otherwise it'd be no fun. Anyway, I just wanted to warn you there is a bloodthirsty murderer on the loose and you should be careful out there. Now I must attempt to revive the, the victim. Uh, Carcat, you cannot even imagine what this smells like. Uh, but I pride myself on being a true professional, just as well as an excellent friend. I will be away from my glasses for just a moment, so if you get this message, please be patient. <laughs> Terezi, are you there? Oh fuck, Tavros is dead too? Terezi, listen to me, you have to get out of there. Friska is the least of our problems. Wait, For forensic analysis, are you fucking insane? Put your fucking glasses back on, god damn it. Oh. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. 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 Uh, let me, my gate's too high on this. Uh, motherfucker. God. Shit. Fuck. I'm not reading this anymore if Terezi fucking dies, you guys. I, I mean, I will, but I don't want. I don't, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Uh, ca ca cat. Examine Solix. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. But it's suggesting, and I don't like what it's suggesting, and I take offense to it, and we're examining Solix now. 
You wish he would wake up. You could really use someone with awesome powers right now, being awake and not useless. Oh god, are those his teeth on the floor? Car can't put, put the teeth back in. Yeah, good as new, best friend. It's like it never happened. No one can ever blame you for dropping him down the stairs now. <laughs> stairs? <laughs> what stairs? <laughs> Car can't contact, contact Equius. You were hoping it wouldn't have to come to this, but you're running out of options. You need backup. Strong backup. Hey, Nipeta. Is this the first Equius conversation in like a month? Did we go all of fucking September without talking to Equius? I don't remember if we did or not. I mean, I appreciate the effort, Blue Class. <laughs> Uh, no sweat September. <laughs> God damn it. All right, all right, let me read this. Fucking conversation. What was the Equius voice? It was like sort of car cat, but more sweaty. <laughs> I just heard what I said out loud. <laughs> sort of car cat, but just more sweaty, you know? You're just, you're just a sweatier person. Actually, I should be able to When... Ah, that works. Why are you linking me? Oh, fuck off. Okay. I don't have... I don't have volume control over music when you send it like this, recursive. Um, I mean, I'll try. I'll try. Let me play it. Is it even playing? <laughs> hey, Everton. Is it playing? It's not playing. It's just literally not playing. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just it's just not playing. Damn, that's a hell of a typo, Blue Glass. <laughs> uh, ham steak horror steak edition. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, no, it just, just doesn't play. Sorry. My bad. I wish it would. Nope. Okay, I tried like four times. I'll just, no, no, like the, 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 it's, the player will not play. Your eye key fails to register. Nope. Nope. I even I can even like move the, the 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 bit into the different parts of the song, and it won't play. Like I can literally show you. Uh, ignore the magic card shit, like... Just doesn't play. Listen! Try another browser? Ugh, all right. Well, it worked. Ek 
Nucleus, are you there? Yes. Okay, good. Are, are, are you still really strong? Like, is that still your thing? I am still exceptionally strong. Strength continues to be my strongest attribute. Okay, good. I guess that was a pretty dumb question. I, I need your help. With what? Gamzee is on a rampage. He's gonna kill us all if we don't stop him. It was playing from my- how did it fuck did it start playing from my microphone? Oh, motherfuck. Alright. Uh, what? Piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> well, recursive said volume mixer time, and I gotta pull out the volume mixer. Um... I have no idea why this is why why is I need to look at my Google fucking settings one second. Uh... No 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 because it, it, the issue no 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 no, no. Uh, recursive the issue is not the volume the issue is that it's sending the audio to the wrong device. I mean, this is just a, it's just a background, I don't give a shit. Um, it's sending audio to, like, the incorrect thing. Uh... And I don't know how to change it without fucking with a thousand things. Because the, the, because I have, I have a separate input set up for audio. No, because I'm running that on Firefox. I have a separate input for audio that goes through my, goes through a, a label, uh, uh, an input called desktop audio. And that just takes any audio that plays on my desktop. Then I have an aux audio, which is just my microphone. Do I have internet edge? No. Um, can I just, can we just read the conversation without listening to a specific song? Is it that big of a deal? Or you'll just have to deal with it being really loud? Or get me a player that has volume control? I, I'm just gonna, I, I'm just gonna, can I, can, I'm just gonna read. I'm just gonna read. We read in silence for fucking 17 episodes. The, the fucking music is just a luxury at this point. No, I can't. I can't beatbox. I like how we, I gained viewers during me having audio issues. Just play something cool over the radio. Where the fuck was I? I'm gonna I'm gonna read the whole page over just because like now I'm off my groove. You've thrown me off my groove. Ow, that hurt. Why the fuck did I do that? Just slapped myself a bunch. <laughs> what the fuck did you just do? The media playback was aborted due to a corruption problem or because the media used features your browser did not support. Well, time to, time to, <laughs> audio issues, the stream. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Uh, well, there's a solution to that. It's called force close and force reopen Firefox. All 
All right. You always have to force close Firefox because uh, then it you can restore the session. That's the trick. Uh, nope, still doesn't work. Doesn't work. Does YouTube work? Yo, what the fuck? Now I can't... Oh, something broke. Something broke. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? That was the issue? That was the issue? All right. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now I can probably play the song. Send, give me that shit again. What's that link? Give me that link. Give me that link, I'll reread the whole thing. I'll just edit all of this out of the fuck. <laughs> I'll edit this all out of the VOD. Only the people that that actually watch the streams get to watch me suffer. All right, I'm gonna hit play and then I'm just gonna start reading. Equius, are you there? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Are, are, are you still like really strong? Like, is that still your thing? I am still exceptionally strong. Strength continues to be my strongest attribute. Uh, okay, good. I, I guess that was a pretty dumb question. Uh, I, I need your help. With what? Gamzee is on a rampage. He's gonna kill us all if, if we don't stop him. You mean the high blood? What? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, oh dear. <clears throat> what? Are, are you saying the, the High Blood has finally embraced his position atop the hierarchy? No, I'm saying he fucking snapped and he wants to murder us all! Yes, exactly. D d damn it! Why does this conversation have to be predictably terrible? No, no! I all I'm asking you to do, no, I'm ordering you to do, is go find Gamzee and beat him to death with your bare hands, or possibly two halves of a broken bow, before he kills anyone else. I certainly appreciate the debauchery inherent in receiving an order of such gravity from a rogue-blooded foul mouth, but... I'm not entirely positive. I can raise a hand to the high blood. It wouldn't be my place. Uh, oh my god! Why do you have to be so difficult in all the most fucked up ways possible? You're getting off of this, aren't you? Uh, if you ask me for a towel, I'm gonna flip my shit right off this fucking meteor. It'll just be me spinning and spinning and spinning into endless nothing, screaming. No, I, 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 I have a sufficient supply of drying utilities. I forbid you from getting off on any of this. Don't get off on my orders. Don't get off on phrases like fuckity fuckity fuck. And don't get off on any sort of weird admiration you might be harboring for a murderous clown with purple blood. The, 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 bl the blood. It is, it is just so exquisitely purple. Are you listening to me? Yes, but look, the, the situation is very delicate. I believe the, the High Blood would benefit from a proper enculturation into the aristocracy. 
I don't think he gives a shit about your etiquette lessons or how a true gentleman is about just to go about handling a proper fucking horse teat. Seriously, people are in danger here. Uh, I'll take measures to ensure our comrades aren't injured. Okay, and? Well, but you won't fight him, is that it? If it comes to cl close quarters skirmish, I will try to be prepared. How fucking reassuring! You are such an idiot, I don't get it! You kiss the ground this lunatic walks on because he has purple blood, but that doesn't stop you from ripping on Aridin! I, like, I know for a fact you don't like him, and his blood is even purplier, isn't it? Yes, that that's... That's different. He is a sea dweller. Our feud is codified in tradition. Nay, we are obligated to be at odds. It's dignified. Uh, okay, fine. Then speaking of which, he's on a murderous rampage too. He... He is... How many of us are rampaging murderously, exactly? I don't know, at least three, probably, but who even knows at this point? I, the point is, if you see him, would, would you mind snapping his stupid wand in half or something? Then choke him to death with his own shitty, pretentious scarf! Do I really have to? God, what is the problem now? It... It... It's primarily that his... <laughs> advances make me uncomfortable. <laughs> I would high-five you if it wouldn't shatter every bone in my hand. And if you didn't smell terrible. But seriously, if you can carry out my orders in the least perverse way possible, that would be great. Just kill one or more of these assholes and get back to me, okay? I, I need you to come through for me because we're running out of manpower here. We, we are. Yes, didn't I mention? Feffery, Kanaya, and Tavros are dead. Solix is unconscious. And Terezi is missing. Oh God, I hope she's okay. I, sh I should probably go look for her. Uh, oh, sh shoot, uh, excuse my vulgarity. I I'll, I'll let it slide, just do what I say, okay? I will look into it. I get Solix, dab. Terezi, return to computer lab. You foolishly misplaced your glasses doing your heroic reveal attempt. Revival attempt. Reveal attempt. Your heroic revival attempt, leaving you with no way of communicating with the others to warn them. This is why you really should carry no less than five computers on you at all times, like a sensible person. But there was no one in here. Just someone taking a nap on the horn pile over... Th over there. In the big pile of something that's the transportalizer. Grub sauce, maybe? You hope it's grub sauce. But please, please be grub sauce. Where's. Where's your body? Where, where, where's Kanai's body, you guys? Alright, uh, uh, alright, literal, literal, actual chills happening. Uh, I had goosebumps and everything. Um. Terezi, sample sauce? Someone either had a major sauce accident earlier, 
Oh, this is the scene of yet another real-life murder. Your team is so lucky to have you around to sleuth these heinous crimes. And yet, the body is missing. You can't conduct much forensic analysis without it. This is exactly why you should never turn your back on a body, not even for a second. Uh, Terezi, examine the horn pile. This was no nap. This was another murder. What is going on in this lab? Terezi, examine body. Another textbook impaling. Your pup has been busy tonight. Wait, there appears to be a pair of smaller marks on the... Victim's neck. Terezi, examine marks. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. It looks like one of these trolls put sunglasses on. Is a vampire. What the fuck are they called? The rainbow rainbow drinkers. Wait, Kanaya likes vampire fan fiction, and she is one. What the fuck? What the? What the fuck? It's like, it's like Dracula reading Twilight and being like, oh yeah, oh yeah. My favorite part is the part where the the one vampire kills the lady with the sex. I can't do a Dracula voice. Um. Um. It's the most base part of Twilight. Or 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 when her. Or when, uh, <laughs> or when, um, the, the baby, like, claws its way out of her womb. That part's great. Anyway. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's a magic card if I ever saw one. <laughs> with the sex killed the what who's the victim you you no you lose cuz you have to name the victim yep Rawr. I don't, I, well, I have, uh, my, my record at Clue is 1-0 because I've played Clue one time and I've won Clue one time. No, nah, we needed, we needed Twilight to exist so someone could write that sick, um, uh, Twilight, but with a rational protagonist fanfic. It's really good. I recommend looking it up. It's it's handled very well. Um anyway. <laughs> this isn't Phoenix Wright on his first day. We know who the victim is. Um okay, okay. 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 I need to move on. I need to move on. The vi the victim is me. I am the victim. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's that's gotta be that's gotta be the best the best Vriska picture in the comic so far. Like in the comic, this is the best depiction of Vriska that's ever been. Has the killer really developed a taste for blood? She's completely out of control. According to your expert analysis, she barged in here with a lance, her new weapon of choice, this startled everyone in the room so much it triggered a dead, a dreadful grub sauce spill or and or chainsaw accident, causing the missing victim to lose a large amount of blood and or grub sauce. Horrified by the sight, everyone fled the room except for the present victim who was napping on the horn pile. The perpetrator, in a deranged state of mind, then sampled the spilt green blood slash sauce from the floor. Her thirst peaked. She became tempted by the buffet of rich royal blood on the horn pile. Dragged a trail of green from the puddle to the horns, then helped herself to the victim's neck. The victim undoubtedly woke up midway through the gruesome feast, fought back, and got a lance through the chest for her trouble. The perp then fled into the lab, thirsty for more. Yes, you are quite sure that the... That your theory doesn't make a lick of sense. You wish you had your crack team of experts to advise you. If only you hadn't kicked them down all into the bottomless pit, along with probably your glasses accidentally. Damn your de insubordination. Uh. Uh. F L equals one. Fuck. <laughs> you led me. You led me. You led me. You you led me wrong. Recursive. You led me, you did me, you did me dirty. Now, 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 now it says FL equals one, question mark FL equals one in the, in the fucking, I hate this. Anyway. Let's, uh, sound page, equius, seek the high blood. No, I got scared. Oh my god, it's got the horsey song. Uh, let's see. Alright. Ha ha ha. Hi, Nepeta! Are, are you giving me the tutorial? Are we... Ha. How the fuck did I do that? Ah. Is it just a percentage? I think it's a percentage. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a percentage. Because I clicked on three different locations and it just pulled up Nepeto. So sometimes you get a Nepeto. When you click on the instructions. Oh, might be 33%. Let's examine some fine art. Legends tell of muscle beasts once roaming the cosmos that was so enormous they could destroy entire planets with but a twitch of any anatomical feature. Are the legends true? You hope so. Always double click. This piece is simply called Edward. It is so beautiful. Archery is so hard when you're this strong. Examine Robo Pile. A gratifying heap of soundly thrash robotics. Standing near this pile stirs powerful emotions. 
The closer you stand to piles of stuff, the more freely the feelings flow. It is a law of reality. Like, seriously, don't do it? Okay. Oh, did I, like, misclick? You got a heap of fresh towels! It's not... Um, I don't know what's going on. Karka just wants to intervene. I know, I would too. <laughs> God damn it. You got emergency backup absorbency unit. Camomile. Smells so good. Kamiao meal. You got a fresh towel. Oh, okay. Let's talk about Araya. <laughs> A ferocious and concerned Moira suddenly approaches out of some wild shrubberies. I regard the fer ferocious Moira stoically. I mean, I greet Mrs. Lejean without issuing a statement of action in the first person. Mrs. Lejean ponders over murder Mr. Zahak is still feeling poor over his superior rubble, sweetheart, and needs more healing up. Mr. Zahak, I mean, I will probably be feeling blue about that for some time, yes. But he is, darn it, I am exceptionally strong and will cope with it. Admirably. Even though she, she, she didn't even say goodbye for some reason. Oh, we can always call up in the pile again to talk about feelings. Nepeta, for goodness sakes, a man can only discuss feelings for so much time. How long have we already spent in the robotics pile? Um. I believe it was at least an hour. We examined my emotional state till we were both blue in the face. <laughs> what? Blue, 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 blue. I just love how you say that word. <laughs> I, I know. What? Why? Why? Why Equi is being kawaii? <laughs> Who had to draw Kawaii Equius for this? Press press F press F for the artist who had to draw who had to draw Kawaii Equius. Nepeta, I I think it would behoove us uh, to address the extreme danger in a serious manner. You mean about Gamzy? <laughs> I still not sure if I can believe it. That's because you still refuse to look upon our bloodlines as the deciding behoove real factors they are. Behoove real? Hmm? Behavioral. Behave. Behave. Behavioral. Behave. Beha behoove. Beha horses. Fuck! I mean. Don't. I, I need to tell. Sorry, my heart is galloping and I can't enunciate properly. The horse case scenario is upon us. <laughs> His is the richest and most noble blood possible among the highland dwellers. 
As such, she is prone to being more violent and unpredictable than any of us. Not everyone has been as lucky as I in the domain of moral allegiance. I utter to think what I might be without you, Nepeta. Utter? Shut up. Oh, that's so sweet, Equius. You know I'll always be ready to tackle Pounsu when you start getting especially folias. Yes, which is among the reasons why I must make your protection a high priority. The high blood has joined a stable of those who are becoming increasingly volatile and murderous as we remain stranded in this laboratory. I command you to steer clear of them. Do you understand? <laughs> steer. <laughs> Hoof, hooves. <laughs> he, did you mean steer in a livestock sense? He? <laughs> yes. Well, if you're referring to whiskers, I was already pretty scared of her. Whiskers. My favorite whole show character is Whiskers. Woo. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes, he hello, um, I, I was told that, that you, you go by v -v -v whiskers <laughs> v -v -v -w -w whiskers scratch kit? It's my new OC for Whiskers Scratch Kit, Ulu. It's my new troll Sona. And if you are talking about Mr. Ampera, he's always giving me the creeps anyway, so there is nothing to fight over. <laughs> Excellent. I would still prefer you hide, hide, I mean, uh, pr prefer. Hide? Where? <gasps> but behind that gate. Gate? You mean gate? What gate? Ooh. What are you stalking about? <laughs> I, I mean that door over there. You gosh darned silly face. Um. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Alright, um. Do I be Nepeta or do I leave? You can backseat me through this just because I wanna I wanna make sure I do everything in the right order. The milk glasses. F fiddlesticks. Uh, fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. All right, but not all of them. Okay. Now what? Sorry to be like, hey, tell me what to do, but like, hey, tell me what to do. I don't want to reach whatever end point of the flash there is without seeing everything. The door and stairs? Okay. This is no time to retire. Gotta go after the clown. That. That clown motherfucker. It's. <laughs> You cannot go looking out for the high blood just yet. You must make sure Nepeta is somewhere safe. Alright, let's be a cat. I will now seek the high blood, Nepeta. 
I command you to go hide as we discussed. Dicks, dicks cussed? Dick, dick sucks? How the fuck do you pronounce that with the accent? Sure. But there are lots of nuts on the loose out there, so don't stick your neck out and take any big frisks. I will exact caution, even when safety... <laughs> when safety looks to be a hundred percent assured. God damn it, Equius. Even so, I would still like to take the opportunity to say... What? <sighs> Goodbye. Oh. Well, okay. Goodbye. But you had better believe I will see you again soon, Equius. Yes, you will. Sleeping for way too long, so it is undoubtedly very strong. Just the way Equius likes it. Wap up 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 up. Suggest one last feelings jam in the pile? You pet her she, but she looks at her shoe with a question on her purred lips. For Pete's good for nothing, Dixie whistling sakes, Nepeta. I am through talking about feelings. Now go hide like I commanded. But so many of our friends have died. It just makes me so sad to think about. I don't think we have even scratched the surface of our feelings yet, and our feelings are in this case a very tall and a very inviting carpeted post to sink our claws into. I do not hoove claws. I mean have claws. I know I was speaking metaphorically. kitty! Mr. Zahak rolls his eyes, which may remain concealed and aloof as ever. Besides, I know for a fact that you are still feeling blue, hee <laughs> hee, from losing Aradia. I suppose. I did not mention, but I think I should. I may perk you up to know that I had a dream about him during my last catnap. You did. Yes, she had these pretty wings and a splendid hood. I think he might have been cosplaying like Fuska has been. Uh huh. She was so happy, just like she used to be, and she said she would see you soon. That's. That's a nice thought, and thank you for sharing it. But it was only a dream, and will surely have no consequence in reality. Equius? Are those feelings I am detecting with my wiggly, whiskily nose? Maybe. Then we must take this to the pile! Scratching post haste! <laughs> oh, okay, just, just for a while, though. You proceed to have you then proceed to have the most poignant and heartfelt feelings gem in the history of paradox space, all piles of things. I a muscular man who is clearly a feline obsessed female at the moment do something suitably cat-like in accordance with the nature of this juvenile theatrical amusement. <laughs> Shh, 
strong equus, no way kiss poor attempt at role play. Also approved a missed opportunity to spell amusement as amusement. That's not how I talk. Equus commands strong muscular cat girl to get into role better. Oh, good grief. He commands it. Fine. I, again, as a little lithe, clawed female wearing a preposterous hood. I mean, preposterous. Strike a supine posture on the floor. The darn it. Posture. The exposed belly commands to be scratched. It commands it. Do as it says. Rawr. Hulk, hulking brute no obey command. Too strong for cut, touchy curly stuff per usual. Nah. The scruffy head, saucer eyed smart Alec takes issue with the tone of the girl currently posing as said hulking brute. She slash she wonders if he slash she appreciates that the powerful, no powerful, powerful nobleman currently masquerading as her slash him would be more than happy to accommodate said cuddly stuff, outrageous strongness permitting. <laughs> Equius, damn it! Why do you always have to make this so so evil? Language. Sorry. What am I doing wrong? I I literally took every single opportunity possible to put a feline reference into the conversation. Just like you told me to, Nepeta. I, I, I'm doing my best. I, I, please tell me what am I doing wrong? Well, you, you don't have to always announce who are your, you are pretend, pretending to be in every line. And you don't even have to always have to point out this, just pretend. In fact, that is sort of an RPing no-no. How would you recommend I approach the uh, absurdist charade, then? Oh, I don't know. Just by having fun and having a sense of humor about it and such. And not sneaking in little sneaky, sneaky little bobs of disdain for the exercise. I'm not dumb, you know. I catch those, like, little scared, scurrying rodents. I, I, I was having fun. The, the line ab about the belly scratching was exceptionally playful, and I am to be commended. You will commend me, I command it. Yes, yes, all right. Oh, yes, yes, okay, you're right. That was really great. Do more of that, okay? Ready, go. I think I'm out of material, though. I don't actually know that much about cats. Ah, fine. We can stop. Here, take your gross, sweaty, sticky glasses back, Squackless. Very well. He here is your hood. Um. Yeah. Why don't Why don't you hang on to that? Forever it is my present to you. I... 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 I can't... I can't... I can't tell you how touching I, I find this gesture, Nepeta. Thank you from, from the very bottom of my... ludicrously powerful 
cardiovascular system. Don't mention it. Hmm. I like to think that Equius took that very, very personally and very, very seriously. And Nepeta was just like, please don't give me my sweaty, stinky hat back. Thank you. You can't go up there. Equius told you to hide through the gate. You mean gate. Uh, you mean door. Oh, there's a dialogue. Robo parts everywhere. That's great. That's pretty great. That's pretty okay. No, that was worth. That was worth. Yes. You just don't have to heart to update the world to affect the recent deaths of your friends. As your veteran shipper, you have grown accustomed to watching your ships get sunk. But not like this. Oh? Oh? Dave Tav? Okay. Dave Ross? Equus has blocked the door from the other side with something incredibly heavy. Damn him and his strongness. Alternian paint sets are manufactured with the pigment from the blood of Cold of Dwiglas, which is pretty powerful if you think about it. Maybe. Why jeeling? So fragrant. Bap bap bap, pounce pounce pounce. You suppose this pairing is still viable, although the roles will have to be dramatically reversed. Yes, this matchup is always so perfect to you. Why can't anyone see it? Why can't they see? It's hard being a shipper. It's hard, and no one understands. Oh, nothing. Just looking at this pile is making you sleepy and emotional. No one can ever accuse you of not being prepared to do sweet and warm beverage. You will have to remember what to write Jade a nice thank you for a note. Yeah, thank you. You'll have to remember to write Jade a nice thank you note for helping you stabilize Carcat's unhealthy relationship with his past and future selves. Maybe now, with a clear head, he'll be able to open his eyes to await him for to wait for him in other quadrants, certain other possibilities. Maybe noticing someone nice over there in that bright red corner who has been there all along. This is um a ship in progress. Uh, human romance, who is weird? Examine crates! You mean crates. Uh-oh. Oh no! No one must ever see! No one must ever see! <laughs> Maybe you someday you'll work up the guts to say something. Maybe you want to choose when your fiasco blows over. And to great, you mean great. You suppose you should stay put like Equia said, but it's so frustrating being, coop, oh, being all cooped up in here. Surely scooting through the air ducts for a while should, couldn't hurt. He will never know.
Douche foot? Belly breath? Dr. Honey Tongue? What monster could do this? <laughs> Next for what? You got an enchanted shitty wizard figurine. It's a miracle. Someone has chopped this thing right in half. Maybe whoever who is traversing through these corridors does not, does not want to be followed. You can certainly respect such sneaky tactics. It doesn't work. Someone must have disabled the transportalizer on the other side. No, don't do this to me. Don't you dare. <sighs> Fuck off. Can I examine the crates? No. <sighs> Was that la fucking Kugaraksha? God damn it. on that system this is broken that one isn't uh, you got Ahab's crosshairs perfect this is just exactly the kind of power pow firepower you could use if you're going up against uh, you just broke it Check. Checking it. It's pretty cool. Did you just give me a cardinal direction and then say left? Did you say north left? left you got a shattered bust of an incredibly attractive sweaty human male actor you've told the pattern not to scoot through the air ducts and seal the cherished belongings of others but does she listen of course not get that. Do I just not? Alright, cool. I just want you to know that every time the bass hits and the, the voice says miracles, um, my entire mouse, uh, mouse, keyboard, mouse pad, and headphones light up purple. I just wanted you to know that.
Well, my two favorite colors are green and purple. So I set um I set all my RGB to be um sound reactive green to purple. It just it was a coincidence. Especially since it was like this before Murder Stuck started. Arrows fired true straight through the eyes. Who could have done this? What fucking person uses bows? If not Equius. Who can't. It's you, Pyro. Have you seen the high blood about? Pardon, smelled. <laughs> Check it the motherfucker out! It's the peasant blood. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> peasant blood? Is that a joke? If your blood is a running motherfucking gag, then soon it will be running through my motherfucking fingers. The profanity is sickening. You'll stop. Yo. Neil. You are not Pyro. You are the high blood I should have known. Remove your counterfeit eyewear at once. Ah, uh, if you please, sir. I'll show you what a motherfucking god. If you show me what's motherfucking yours. What? It was a motherfucking joke. Honk! We really should talk. You really should, Neil. What was that? The volume of your voice keeps fluctuating. I said, Neil, motherfucker. I told you to motherfucking Neil, motherfucker! Well, that was more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I wasn't like, I, I, I kind of wish, I mean, I know it was pacing, right? It was like, pa like thematic pacing, but I kind of wish I could, I was able to click through it. Um, but it was thematic pacing, so I understand. Um, other than having it voice acted, that was probably the best way they could do it. Um, yep. Yeah. I hate, I, that's such a small detail. That's such a small detail. God damn it, hussy. Like, look how small this detail is. It's an arrow. It's not the equal sign. It's the, it's the arrow. Fuck off. When... What day did this panel go up, and when did Skyrim happen? Okay, thank you. Neil. Does this mean I'm out of Equius? I wanted to make more Equius cards. Same year months earlier. What a coinky dink. Gamzee. Subjugulate. Honk. 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 Creak. Snap. I uh, don't think I have something I can snap. Unfortunately, I was not prepared. Actually, 
Oh, really? Oh, fuck. I had... I, I grabbed a plastic utensil to snap, and it just bends. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you can't see me fucking... fucking moving this thing back and forth. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Fred Durst find something to break. Oh. 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 Ah, oh, he's gonna fucking garrote him, isn't he? Gamzee, engage murder mode. This is completely terrifying. I fucking damn it, Equius. Can I say something about this? Like thematically? Thematically, this was the worst way for Equius to die. Um consider like considering his um like uh values and opinions and all that shit. Um for he 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 wants to be proper and respectable and uh, authoritative in this aristocracy and he goes out like some common fool in the most embarrassing and like degenerate way possible right it's like it's like Gamzee figured out what would be the perfect way to kill this person and then did exactly that. Kill them with his own weapon in a terribly, terribly embarrassing way. And like... I can't, I can't even say he deserved it, right? Equius was a creep. Equius, Equius was an asshole. Um, but did he deserve to be garroted? And like, I, I don't, I don't think he did. I don't I don't think he did. Um especially especially after that that flash with Nepeta um where you get to see the fact that Equius is able to maintain a healthy relationship with somebody. Even if it's got its quirks and if it's kind of awkward. Um He's a he's he was a, he was a, a okay person. Peta, please, please do home. 
Nepeto pounds. Bimp Hiff Gamzy Turn Here's Hussey playing with our emotions again. Gamzy Sorry Turn Gamzy Draw Deuce Clubs from Strife Deck. A fucking excuse me? His strife deck is all the weapons? Pounce Avenge. Um, I notice his eyes turn orange sometimes. I don't know if that's extremely relevant. It probably is. Oh. 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 Scrape. How? Oh. Oh. How? God motherfucking damn it. John, take the car. Wow, and so the air of void dies void of air. <sighs> wow. Give me that strong F in the chat. John. Take car. Uh, uh, so Nepeta, Nepeta is dead after this. So Nepeta's dead. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Just want to take the car. This is why seatbelt safety should always be paramount. Remember to buckle up. Schrodinger's cat girl. <laughs> John, proceed to castle. Perhaps this is the one? As you approach, you attempt to contact your friends from verification. Um, but there's no answer from Jade. Well, from Rose. You wonder what they could be up to. Someone else is bugging you, it seems. John, answer. <sighs> Hi, John. Oh, hey there, Vriska. Can this wait? I was about to check out this castle and see if my dad is here. Your guardians are not here. Oh, dang it. Do you know where they are? Yes, they are in another castle. Don't worry, you'll find them later. Uh, how much later? 
In a while, man, settle down. I am telling you that you will find them after a little more questing around in your awesome blue godhood. So why don't you relax and talk to me for a while? Well, okay, I guess so. Why don't you have your hood up, by the way? Thrug. You look great with the hood up. And anyway, we should be showing a little pride as the only ones to make God tier, don't you think? Psst. I don't even know. I don't know if it is much of a major accomplishment, honestly. John, are you mad at me? Um, no. Then what's the matter? I guess I just missed my dad. I was hoping he'd be here, but apparently I won't see him for another few hours or whatever. If that is what you see in the future, then I guess there's no fighting it. Blah. I still find it a little hard to understand the sentimentality you attach to these adult humans. It just seems so strange to me. But hey, that's alien culture for you. Yeah, I know. I guess you just have to think of them the way you think of your Luthithiv. Uh, Luthi? Yeah, sort of. Except, I never liked mine that much. Even after I prototyped her, things were pretty chilly between us. I, I spent most of my adventure avoiding her. <laughs> that is... too bad. John, are you sure you're not mad at me? No, why would I be mad at you, Vriska? Be because I tricked you into getting killed. Oh, right. I actually almost forgot about that. Would it would it help if I said I was sorry? Why would you need to apologize, though? I mean, I admit I was pretty confused about it at first, seeing my dead body in the cloud and all. But in the end, you did it to help me, didn't you? Really, I should probably be thanking you. Uh, are you there? It, yes, I, I am here. Sorry. I just wasn't sure to say for a moment. I am in so incredibly relieved you were not angry with me. <laughs> I, I, I really don't know what reason I would have to be angry. I mean, aside from the deception involved, but I kind of understand why you did that. In any case, you did give me a choice. Yes, I did. I don't know, John. You'd be surprised how often people resent it when you try to help them. But see, you really get it. That's why you're special. Shrug. Hearts. So, is that what you wanted to talk to me about? Yes. Well, not exactly. Then what is it? I know how this is probably going to sound, especially to a human, but I just killed someone. You did? Who was it? Like, you mean like a bad guy? Not exactly. Oh yeah, Karkat mentioned that he was in trouble and then had to go. It made me a little worried. Are you guys under attack or something? I'm not sure what his deal is. I haven't seen him in a while. But we're, we're not under attack. Not yet, at least. Oh. Well, then who did you kill? He was a friend. Someone from our team. Why? It's a little complicated. Well, did he attack you or something? Yes, but really, that's not why I killed him. He was no match for me. I could have just incapacitated him or flown away or whatever. The, the truth is, I killed them because at the time... I thought I wanted to, and sort of felt like I finally had to. Uh, 
Why did you have to? Because enough was enough! You don't even know how frustrating it was to be friends with him. I used to really like him, and always wanted to help him get stronger, so that he might stand a fucking chance to actually make it on our world. But he was so weak and indecisive, he wouldn't change. And then when he tried to change, it was too little and too late. Always late. Lady late, late. Too late to kiss me. Too late to kill me. He couldn't do it when I really needed him to. So when I saw he was actually serious about trying to kill me now of all times, I just got so angry. Still a little bit upset thinking about it. So I killed him. And I'm pretty sure he's dead for good now. Wow. You're right, Vrithka. That does not sound good. I know! I know our races are completely different. And I really hate the idea of you thinking worse of me because of this. But I don't have anyone else to talk about it! Y you don't? What about all your friends? I bet Carcat will listen. Or what about Terevi? She's pretty nice, isn't she? No, 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 no. I mean... Yeah, they're fine. I, but I can't talk to them. Why not? For one thing, they'd probably just be pissed off at me for killing Tavros. And more importantly, there's no way I could tell them how I really feel about it. Well, how do you feel? <laughs> Horrible! If any of my friends knew that, they would think I'm weak! <sighs> oh... I guess I understand. I mean, I'm trying to with the cultural difference and all. Do you? Like, trolls are more violent and angry, right? Kind of like Klingons or something, which is an ang a race of angry race of alien savages from a hu human TV show. We aren't savages, you dope! Oh, I know, that's not what I meant, but I, I am guessing you all have to act tough to make it in your world and have a sense of honor about fighting and like to beat people up and stuff, right? Uh, yeah, let's, let's say close enough. But I think no matter what alien culture you were from, killing is still wrong and it sounds like you do too. Yeah, see, this is where our cultures clash, I think. It would be difficult to explain exactly how killing is viewed on our planet with all the nuance involved, and it just isn't the black and white thing humans seem to think it is. Well, you could try. I am listening. On my world, I would be completely vindicated for killing him. He is far lower on the hemo spectrum than me. He managed to disrespect me time and time again, but I kept letting him live. In fact, the amount of slack I cut him would be considered scandalous by those in my class. I had every reason to kill him. And yet... I feel bad about it. Like a lame, weak fudge blood, just like he was. And the fact that I feel bad is why I'm sort of freaking out right now. I think if you feel bad, it just means you have a conscience. Which is good, right? No, that's not how it works. I'm supposed to be fine with it. This was... That's sort of like a test, and I'm afraid I might be failing. How is it like a test? Well, 
It was the first time I killed somebody. Okay. Wait! Okay, that's, that's not really true. What I meant was, it was the first time I killed somebody I cared about. So, you killed other people that you didn't care about? Yes, sort of a lot, actually. But there was uh, there was there was a really good reason for that. Um, how many? Or do I w do I want to know? Oh, it doesn't matter. Probably many thousands. Uh, holy shit. God, I know how this sounds, but I had to feed her. My, my, my Lucis, I mean. I've basically been playing this role as a slave in the food chain my whole life. It is what she selected me to do. I, I guess that's why you didn't get along with her? Hell yes. I see. That is still, still, that is a lot of killing. Jesus. Yeah, but I, I never felt anything about it. It was just normal life for me. But then you kill the, you finally killed the guy you liked and not so cool anymore. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. That's not quite right. He's the second person I cared about who I killed. Man, I always forget about her. Uh, I guess she wound up, she wound up getting me back pretty good though, so we're even. Oh, also, technically, I attempted to kill that same guy around the same time, but I just wound up paralyzing him. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but, but man, that was sweeps ago. I, I, I think I had a really juvenile attitude about killing back then. I think I was trying too hard. I, I was really obsessed with being the best at stuff. And I guess I was trying to be pre precocious in that respect as well, and prove to everyone how brutal I could be. But I was such a confused kid. I didn't know anything about what killing really means. I was trying to fake it, and it caused me nothing but problems. I, I guess I had no idea how different we really were. What I'm hearing is seriously scaring the shit out of me. Yeah, I, I know. I just... I, I wish we didn't have to be so different. I'm just trying to be honest with you. Because like I said, I have nowhere else to go. Okay, well, I appreciate the honesty. So, if killing isn't exactly wrong, then what is it? What do you mean by what killing really means? I guess I have to admit, I don't actually know that much about humans either. Um, other than that you are all pretty soft and mild-mannered and seem to be friendlier and think killing totally sucks. I really have no clue what it means to grow up as a human though. But I do know what it means to grow up as a troll and that's what it's that's what's expected of us. What does it mean? When a troll comes of age, you better believe it means they're going to start killing. It's what we do as a race. We are very effective conquerors, and as such, we practically dominate our galaxy. Or used to. The ones that don't learn to be ruthless, they're better off dead. And the reality is, it won't be long till they are. That's just life for us. That sounds terrible. I would like to be culturally sensitive, but I wish it didn't have to be like that for you. I've started to really like you guys. Oh, 
Well, thanks, John. It's nice of you to say. But let's face it, it doesn't fucking matter anymore since our whole race was wiped out. Maybe for the best, when you think about it. But at least Paradox Space gave us some purpose before wiping us out, right? At least we got the chance to create you guys. And all those twinkly stars you used to look up at. Yeah, I guess that- yeah, that's true. So because we got that chance, it means we'll never actually get to come of age and enter troll society and see if we got what it takes. But it doesn't mean we stop growing up. I think the game knows it's always going to be played by kids. It always rigs it so they enter right around the cusp of sexual maturity, whatever the race is. Which kind of makes sense, since if they succeed, they've got their whole lives ahead of them to do whatever the hell they're going to do in their universe. Like, start repopulating and whatnot. That means the game also knows it's got to deal with all these damn kids who are coming of age while playing it. And I, I really think how successfully they mature is tied to success in the game. It challenges the players in all the ways they need to be challenged to grow. Which is different for every individual, and very different for every race. I don't think we were so hot at that aspect of the game. In fact, I'm sure we were quite awful. Hell, I wasn't even that great at it. I on it actually just kind of felt ass backwards into the god tier, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. But what really gets me is this didn't even occur to me until just now while I was sitting around thinking about it. It was so obvious. What? That was why the game split us up into two teams. It knew that as we came of age, we'd probably start killing each other. So it just provided the stage. Red team versus blue. It was so simple. All we had to do was what we were naturally inclined to. Might have worked out better for us. Uh, I don't really see how you guys killing each other would help you play the game better. Yeah, you, you'd think that would be counterproductive. But then again, maybe not. If we really did take the team thing seriously and started killing each other, maybe it would have meant more god tears? Maybe all of us would have made it? Damn. C could you imagine? We would have breezed through the game even faster, killed the king without a sweat, maybe claimed the reward before Jack even showed up? Or if we did, maybe we could have beaten him then and there instead of scurrying it off like cowards! In retrospect, we failed at this so spectacularly. I am amazed kind of ashamed. It turned out that the only one of us with the guts to kill someone was already dead! <laughs> and boy, did I have it coming. Dead? Yes, she was a ghost and then became a robot, but then she became a thousand robots and then Jack killed them all but one. Then she blew up. Oh. Oh. And she had the exact bizarre laptop you are using right now. <laughs> How weird is that? Gosh, your team is so crazy. Not crazy enough, apparently. Actually, this is probably Carcat's fault. How? When it comes down to it, he was probably too good a leader. He actually did manage to get the two teams to work together toward the same goal. It could have easily deteriorated to a feud otherwise. He was just so loud and annoying and obsessed with leadership. He wouldn't shut up! So it was easier to go along with his plans. Huh. Yeah, I see how that could be true. He sure kept us working together, but in the end, I think we paid for it. It wasn't natural. Perfectly fitting, really, since he's kind of a freak himself. He's not even on the Hebo spectrum, the weirdo. I really doubt he would have handled it as a leader if he, the shit ever hit the whirling device. He likes to pretend he's all vicious and bloodthirsty, but I know he ain't got that in him. 
I have a sense for these things. He'd be so pissed if he heard me say this. But I think he cut it better as a human than as a troll. You probably mean that as an insult, but I think it's a nice compliment. But I won't tell him you said it. Oh no, that sucks. <laughs> Do I put her in fourth place just so she can she can be plus eight? Alright, alright. All right, all right. But then she doesn't get to move. That sucks, because I initially really liked Tavros. I mean, that's what this chart represents, right? So, the plus or minus... Um, the plus or minus represents uh, how many places they've moved... Um, how many places they've moved since, their, since my initial ranking of them, right? So you can see the most um, the most dramatic shift is Tavros at negative nine and Vriska at plus eight. I have to do the math to make sure this is right because I don't think it is. I don't think this is, I don't think this adds up. I'd have to. I I probably missed a couple ups or downs here and there. But this is kind of a this is approximately how my feelings have changed. Well, no. So the higher the plus. The higher the plus, the more they've uh, I've I've liked them, and the higher the negative, the more the the higher I had them initially, and the more they went down. So Solix at plus zero means that I put him at eight, and he stayed at eight. He hasn't moved, right? Or he stayed in the same respective area. And then Aradia is just like Aradia. Wow, who's Solux? All right, um, so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Would you like to take a break and then do more? 
or just call it quits here and then I talk for a bit. Oh, right. Sure. I guess it just looks worse, IMO, but... More because I'm greedy. That's fair. Break in more homestuck. So I'm up. I'm up for a bit more, but uh, it, like I'd have to just end and then end, right? Uh, because like by that point I'd be too tired. Um. The the options are, uh, end now. And I give my thoughts and feelings and uh, talk about some stuff that's going on and some future stream stuff and just conversate with you guys for a little bit. Or I take like a 10 minute, 5 minute, 10 minute break and come back and we can read for another hour. Why not both? Because, uh, as many people have told me recently, I should be looking after my own health. Besides, we've got it. We can't just rush through all of horror stuff. We got to extend it through the month of October. <laughs> all right. So. I'll hide these. Uh... I need to pay attention every time I pull that up. It, I accidentally dox myself. Thanks. Thanks, Microsoft. Um. Haha, <laughs> get fucked. It's not my legal name. Not yet. Hey, so, um. This was good. This is good. I really, I really like this session. Um, we got a lot of good character development. We got some tension. We got some scary stuff. We lost two characters that I initially probably didn't care much about, but now really do. Um, I mean, so Kanaya, Kanaya's not dead. Or is undead. How is that? You tell me another and I'll rescue myself. That is a promise. Miss Rose Thistle. Of course. Another plan. What do you say we cut the chit chat? A hole. I Um Yeah. Uh Hussey does make you care about them just in time to game Z. And that is it's it's a literary technique, right? When when would it hurt more to kill off Equius? Like after he's sexually weird towards like uh 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 Jade or whoever it was. I forget which kid he was weird towards. Um or or after you find out that he's a real person with feelings and emotions and relationships that is just just an awkward kid who doesn't know how to deal with sexual maturity in a weird society. He was weird at Dave? Okay. Like, it sucks. It sucks, it, it sucks emotionally, it's, it's. See, he was weird at Aradia, but then Aradia returned those feelings even if in a strange way. Right? Even if that was a way that we as human beings that were raised as humans don't understand, um, they were together. And he was so, he was so visibly hurt 
by Aradia's death. Oh, I mean, I love it too in a like literary sense, but like in in a um. In a, uh, in a, like, emotionally it sucks, but like, in literary it's great. Um, yeah, the, the bows and then the, the, the killing him with the string after showing him he was able to successfully use the arrow. That shit is nuts, yes. Um... Yeah, Hussey absolutely knew. The high blood order thing and... No, this panel is gorgeous. Oh, your theory on Joker kind, okay. That makes sense, yeah. Um, this actually segues into into something I want to talk about. Um, no, thank you, recursive. I want to talk about something. Yeah, it's not random for him when he's sober. Yeah. Uh, motherfucking miracle. I mean, Equus might have had a crush on him just just because you know, like, like a, res a weird respect admiration crush, right? Like, oh, the high blood, the high blood fulfilling his role. Yeah, inverse of clubs, Deuce. I noticed that. Yeah, Deuce clubs. No, I I noticed. <laughs> 